going on everybody it's mike with sony slope homestead hey i appreciate you guys tuning in and uh checking out the video today we're gonna go clean out the goat pen it's uh well it's obviously in the middle of winter but it is so nice outside that will work that'll work it is so nice outside it's like 50 degrees and this is a good opportunity to get up there and clean it out instead of waiting until the springtime so all right i guess uh we need a bag of Wood shavings or pine shavings, I'll grab those. Get this weed out of the way. Hey. <laughs> Wait for your friend. We got another friend? We got another friend? Come on. It's a family ordeal today. Well, the fur baby family. Uh Melissa and Autumn, they're down in uh Kansas City right now because uh, my daughter's birthday was last month and well they went down there to a kind of a water park I don't know if you guys know of it or not it's called Great Wolf Lodge took one of her friends down there to celebrate it's kind of like a little extra birthday party so it's just the boys he's gonna go find Gunder he is getting real adventurous and going to the neighbor's yard I just know that my neighbor is gonna be like you're gonna come clean up these piles of horse poo that are in my yard that dog takes huge dumps <laughs> i wish he'd just poo like you guys you know just like pellet form hey you stay out of the neighbor's yard okay the goofball you hear you hear me you big lug we may have to uh put the dogs away we can't keep an eye on them and mama you're just gonna ram them if we let them in here I know Brody would get rocked. Where y'all go? Y'all just gonna ride off on him in the middle of the talk now? <laughs> Gunder, he can hold his own now, but believe it or not, those horns, that goat right there, could cause some major damage to hit in the right spot. I am doing good. Uh, I am still kind of out of breath uh, from, the, from the Rona, but uh, I'm doing better. Actually, we got a lot of I got some real good news and I can't share it right now. But the only thing I can say is, man, things got things got really bad for a second there. And I'm not talking about sickness or anything like that, but just situation in life. And well, I can say that God has a plan and I'm a firm believer in that he does not put any more on you than what you can handle. And what happened to me recently in the last week was a testament to the, just that. And uh, I was even texting my wife and uh, about how God has a plan. God has a plan because what was probably one of my the worst days, not worst days of my life because that had to be pretty bad. But it was an absolute horrible day. I was at my breaking point and... Um, in a turn of a hat something good happened and came of this right away and it, it's going to be life-changing but i won't know until further on in the week on how this is all going to play out and i know you guys are saying oh my god mike how could you tell us something just like this and not give us any details that's absolutely like that's horrible to do that's i'm sorry i can't say anything right now but i'm very excited and i can't contain it and I'm such a great mood. I'm in a really bad mood and in a great mood at the same time if you guys ever been like that. And I wish I could share this with you, but I will make a video and I will give all the details on this. And it's gonna be dirty, it's gonna be everything. Everything will be explained in a video shortly on why you guys aren't seeing Chip much anymore, why I'm not making a whole lot of videos, uh, things about my channel content, there's a lot to go over, and I just can't talk about it right now. But I'm sorry, but I can't contain it. I have to say something, but I will let you guys know because I love the guys and girls who always are there in my comment section. You all know who you are. I can name you by name, but I'll call you out by name, but it would take forever to do that. You ready, bud? But trust me, there's going to be more on this topic soon, and you guys are going to absolutely love it, and some of it's going to make you mad, but it's all good for the good. You ready to get this done? Yeah. 
All right, let's get it done. Yeah, Mama bought us uh, matching t-shirts. Or sweatshirts, sorry. Matching sweatshirts. We like matching sweatshirts. Can you guys tell how much of a catastrophe this goat pin is from these storms we've had? I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We are going to have a ton of work to get done this spring. We're going to clean out this goat pen, so this isn't one of them that we'll have to worry about. What's How's it looking, bud? Is it real bad? Is that wood? Is that rotten wood right there? Oh, that's wood chips. Oh, man. I was thinking the decking was rotten in this. But the goats rarely use this, and they only really use this house when the weather is super, super cold, which it hasn't been this winter, thank God, and or it is torrential downpour. Um, so it's, it's not too terribly bad. They like sitting on their little patio thing that we walked past. I don't know if you've seen that, but they love sitting on that thing. They sleep on it all the time, and we plan on building a patio right here because the sun likes to come down and shine on the patio here. They would absolutely benefit and enjoy having a patio, huh, bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's get this cleaned out. We haven't even had to turn the heat lamps on this year. They haven't plugged the heat lamps in. We haven't had to build any walls, but we do need to clean this out, so. Is it this soft layer and is it a thick layer? Oh yeah, it's, it's composted. All right, it's a, it's a little worse than I thought. And we do have an audience. Don't worry, we're improving your living situation when you guys do actually use this place. And given the fact that, uh. This stuff is pretty thick. I think they're using it more than, than we uh, we think. Yep. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen goats that love to be chased? They absolutely love being chased. It's the weirdest thing in the world. They uh they like my son because uh he feeds them all the time. He's he's the caregiver, and he uh. He doesn't do the mean things to him, like give him vaccinations uh, and uh, trim hooves and stuff. So he's the good guy. And if you want, you want to know who their favorite person is, that's Melissa, my wife, Miss Sunny Slope. You guys are uh, new to the channel. They uh, they absolutely love her because she doesn't ever do any of the mean things that uh, that they consider mean. And uh, she's the one with always the tasty treats. <laughs> This is all left over from last year. I can't remember when I uh, I tore the front of that old thing down. So this used to be our chicken coop for people who are new to the channel, but we moved the chickens down to another area and we gave them a whole brand new coop and this was old chicken coop. Well, we brought the goats in this area and it had a chicken enclosed uh, chicken pen up there that was probably about yay high, absolutely rotten. It was a pain in the butt. So I, I ripped it off and uh, well, obviously, I didn't get too far with the debris. The thing I didn't account for, the thing I didn't think of, was all the nails and the staples and everything that comes along with having stuff attached and built like that. Because I just planned on burning it until I realized there's a whole lot of metal that I'm going to have to clean up. So I haven't really touched it. It's been laying. And then uh, with all the storms here lately... We, why it has trimmed up a lot of things that have a direct effect on what's going on and I got one nasty little limb up there that I gotta get down before it comes down and hurts somebody we'll have to cut that tree down but this one right here to take care of that right there some of these trees are real close to the house and every time the wind starts blowing it gets me real nervous you guys uh you guys know I'm not no uh novice when it comes to dropping trees not a professional i'm not a professional but i'm not a novice i've been lucky pretty far so far i've been really lucky you ready brah yeah all right let's uh let's go for round two on this thing oh man i hope that floor didn't rot out on us yeah probably need the other one <laughs> Probably gonna need the other one. Be right back. <laughs> it's okay. He runs track. He's uh, he's used to this. He also didn't get COVID. Neither did uh, our daughter Autumn. They were both 
negative and they have not been sick thank god and uh they did not get the covid but my wife and i got sure did get it and uh it was a butt kicker and i'm still feeling it but i'm a lot better thanks for asking thanks for asking if you guys seen the previous videos you guys kind of seen the what's happened behind me and obviously and obviously what happened down there you guys know if you haven't seen that well that's a problem and i know how to fix that problem and uh, get you guys back on track and what you could do is you could subscribe and uh you won't have that problem anymore problem fixed yeah that was a little cringy wasn't it? a little cringe yeah it was cringy yeah i don't know what i'd do without you son a lot more work to do Burn! <laughs> probably a lot more chores <laughs> Let's just say we're practicing the deep litter method. But uh, I can tell you one thing, since uh, there's no chickens in here, we've been getting wasps and all kinds of mud daubers. Those chickens are pretty good at keeping those out of their coop. I have to use the pokey. Oh my God, this is thick. That's what she said. <laughs> this might be. Two hours later. It is. Whew. Oh, this is uh this is more work than I thought. We can't let this happen again. That was my fault. I didn't think it was that bad. I really didn't think they used it that often, but given the matter fact that this is packed down so much, this says different. Whew. This is this is hard work when uh you're just getting over breathing issues. Oh. Alright, we're going to continue working on it a little bit more. Oh, they eating the wood chips, were they? Yeah. They're excited, I guess. Hey, you guys, uh, you guys don't be messing with this. This has nothing to do with you right now. You guys start pooping plastic, that's your fault. I'm telling you, it's your fault. Patches, you looking thick. Boots, you doing all right, Mama G? You ain't as thick as you usually are. That's how I can tell it's not a cold winter because these guys ain't, they ain't fluffy. Oh, sorry, bud, I'm slacking. Watch this. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. A booga, 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 booga. We're gonna go. <laughs> you are really dumb, for real. All I have to say is the t shirt is fitting. This floor is gonna have to dry out before I put anything down. Another consideration given when you consider the deep litter method over winter for providing a compost and heat source for your animals. In their pens uh, I think it has more work in the long run than it's worth we're not gonna put wood chips in we're gonna let it dry out and then we're gonna put wood chips in never did I think that be sweating like this in t-shirt what is it February 5th Yeah, I think it's February 5th t-shirt sweating ball cap doing chores they don't use that very much, that jolly ball. Nope. I think I'm the only person that uses it. <laughs> yeah. You guys sure, they sure do like the salt lick though. What, wonder where that mineral lick went. Did they eat up that mineral lick? Probably in the leaf somewhere. Up there. I don't know. Well, if they liked it. There it is. It's right there. Yeah, they, they're kind of eat. I think they like the regular salt more than you guys like the regular salt more or what? No comment. All right. Oh yeah, you rub up gets your thing. I think that's the best thing. I'll keep you off my fences maybe this spring when that cashmere comes off of you. But it isn't, it's not very long. This fence is nice and long. <laughs> yeah, they nice, get a nice good long scratch. You guys do that? Like right rub against the body, they get stuff off. Oh yeah. 
Cows love to scratch themselves like that. I saw a guy that he has like a buttload of cows. And how much is a buttload? Like over a hundred. <laughs> okay, okay. I was just trying to figure out the unit of measurement here. So, okay, <laughs> buttload of cows. I'd like to order a butt. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Would you like some fries with that? Yeah, that is, uh, really like these, I don't know what type of cows they are, but the cows that have like a lot of hair on them that cover their eyes and everything. Oh, yeah? Like, they also have normal cows, too. Fancy cows. And so, like, he puts like these huge brushes in the middle of the field that he has, and the cow just go in circles around it. <laughs> yeah, someday maybe we'll get cows. I don't know. I like to, but man, they are just, they're work, man. They're work. They are. They are work. Well, I'm not really sure where to leave you at, but I could tell you in the next week or two, I'm gonna be able to uh, elaborate and go into more detail about what I was talking about in the early in the video. So you guys be sure to stay tuned to that. Appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to tune in for uh, my little update because honestly, it could go either direction. My, uh, we'll get into it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Mm -hmm.